Doing this film was such a fantastic journey. The Dixie Chicks are some of the most incredible people I've ever met. They, had, they were targeted with an unprecedented campaign to silence them and to stop their freedom of speech. And they would not back down, even though they were boycotted, even though they had death threats, uh, even though their CDs were crushed. But also, hopefully, what you'll get from tonight is really getting to understand who they are as people. Their friendship grew so much stronger because of this. Uh, it made me feel as a person how endearing friends are and what they mean and, and how strong we all are. They're fabulous musicians. They've written their first album and it comes from all their heartfelt work, whether it's about love or it's about infertility or politics. They're mothers. They have seven children between them and they are kick-ass. So have a good time. I'd like to, at this point, welcome onto the stage our panelists. Barbara Koppel, please come up. Uh, Judd Legum, as well, as well as Mudcat Saunders. Just, um, and I believe that we have one extra panelist, a surprise panelist for you this evening. Um, if, uh, if I could welcome uh, Kristen Taylor, are you still here? If you'd like to join us, please come on up. Now, be a good audience. Kristen has, uh, out of the goodness of his heart, been willing to come on up here. He's actually the spokeswoman, or excuse me, spokesman for uh, freerepublic.com. Um, so uh, please come on down. I just want to give a brief introduction to our panelists. Please have a seat. Um, Mudcat, where are you? He should be coming down just momentarily. Um, I just want to give a brief introduction to, um, of our panelists to you all. Judd Legum is the uh, editor of the um, Think Progress blog as well as the Progress Report. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Think Progress blog, it is one of the most popular political blogs in the country, so we're very proud of him. Um, I also want to introduce uh, Barbara Koppel, who I mentioned before. She's a two-time Academy Award-winning documentary filmmaker for Harlan County. County, USA, as well as American Dream. She has been recognized across the board. Um, one of her films has been designated, designated an American film classic by the Congress. She has also um, uh, been nominated for Emmys, and you have seen her work on such shows as Oz, as well as on Homicide. Now, Dave Mudcat Saunders, who just joined us right here, um, is a longtime veteran of rural politics in Virginia. He's an author. He's advisor to some of the biggest name in southern, names in Southern politics, including Mark Warner, John Edwards, and Bob Graham. And besides working for many years for these politicians, he's also uh, been affiliated with the legendary Wood Brothers racing team for NASCAR's Na uh, Nextel Cup. And uh, he's also known pretty well amongst the bluegrass crowd. So. Um, welcome to you all. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, I just am going to ask a few questions of our panelists, and then we're going to open it up to the crowd. So um, please feel free to uh, get some questions ready, and we'll have some roving mics um, for you all to uh, get involved with our panel. So first off, Barbara, I'd like to, um, to uh, turn it to you and ask you about... You have done films on issues ranging from the coal miners um, to uh, rich kids in L.A. So you've kind of covered the gamut. Um, tell us about this film. When you started, when you first met the chicks, had they already made their comments? Um, and what was it about their story that was attractive to you? Okay. Uh, I had wanted to make this film with Cecilia Peck before the comment. We had a mutual friend who was really, you know, close to the chicks and who would tell us all these stories about them. And so we got in touch with their infamous now manager, Simon Renshaw, who you all have gotten to know a little bit from the film. And there was a website group, so they said, no, we don't need another film crew. So we said, oh. And then they made the comment, and we wanted to make the film even more and we just kept you know calling them and sending them proposals 
And finally, they were ready to do it. And so Cecilia and I have been filming for the last couple of years, and it's been an extraordinary uh, experience. These women, I think, are going to be great role models because they're women who just really speak up. They're not daunted by anything. They're so majorly talented. This album, you know, that you've heard all these songs, I mean, they just stir the soul. And I, as a filmmaker, this is one of the films I love the best because these women just taught me so much about courage and so much about hope in the face of a lot of adversity on their lives. And that's it. That's great. Thank you. Um